New at 6, a home for unwanted fish. Conservationists in San Marcos want people to stop dumping their pet fish into the river and instead use the new fish pond. KXAN's Lauren Landman found out there are already thousands in the river and they're hurting the natural environment. This is the kind we mostly get out here. These kinds of algae eaters usually grace the bottom of most large fish tanks. They grade in the tank, but once they get in the river, they cause some problems. Eric Weeks with the San Marcos Discovery Center says people buy these fish to clean their tanks. But when they get too large, some people dump them in the San Marcos River, thinking it's the most humane way to get rid of them. Not so. They overpopulate. They, they produce a lot more offspring than the native fish. And they don't have, they don't have uh, predators as well. City contracted fishermen have caught thousands of these non-native fish in the last six years and estimate there are thousands more swimming below the surface. The best day I've, I've ever got was 55. We're just trying to bring back a, um, the native species, make, you know, encourage the native species to, to um, respawn and, and uh, kind of rebuild the population of the native species. As an alternative to the river, the city built this pond at the San Marcos Discovery Center. This is a pet fish drop-off location. They take any kind of unwanted fish and are able to separate them if needed. We have some goldfish and I think we have one beta fish. And they'll also adopt them out to new homes for free. Just the latest creative effort to protect the San Marcos River. We're seeing a little bit of reduction, but it's an ongoing effort and uh, there will always be non-native fish in the river. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Well, the Discovery Center says it will always take fish. Just bring them in during business hours. They'll also check to make sure the fish are not sick.